Hello, welcome to episode 38 in the Datapack tutorial series. We are going to be doing a modification of an existing loot table. This was from a question by Matt Evanego, and I thought it could be interesting. It's not something I've done before, so I thought we'd try it. So we're going to take the breeze, and we're going to try and add an enchanted book drop to it. So I think the best place to start would probably be misode and see if we can get just a book to drop. So let's do that. Let's go over to misode and we've got the loot table generator here. I'm just going to try to get a book with a set value to drop. So we're going to have rolls of one. We already is one. We will have an entry. Our entry will have a type. It's going to drop an item. Uh, the item will be an enchanted book. So if I just put book, enchanted book i'm not going to give it a weight i want this to drop every time um in fact i will give it a weight because i'll use that in the next one as well so let's give it a weight it's a weight of one but there's only a choice of this one thing so it should drop every time still and i want to set some functions function is going to be to set a component the component we want to set will be um it Enchantment? No, it's the stored enchantment for a book, I believe. Stored enchantment. Okay, so we'll add that. What enchantment do we want? Um, I'm going to add Windburst, since it's a breeze. Let's add that. And I'm just going to say, okay, you're always going to drop the level 3 book. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Copy. And we'll take it over to VS Code. And let's in our namespace, create a new folder and we'll call it loot table .json and we'll paste this. Oh, we have to put a new file as well. What should we call this one? Um, well, it's going to be a book and it's got a set level because it's always level three. So we call it level three. There we go. Dot .json. Okay, let's paste into there. Okay, I don't think I need this functions bit, so I'm going to remove that. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to roll once. There's only one item. Okay, let's try it. Here we are. Uh, let's do a reload. So this button here, it literally just is running the reload command. Okay. Let's try loot give to me loot from... Ooh, wow. Okay, so it's not showing up at all. So we start typing my namespace ID, not showing up at all. Let's see what little mistake we've made. Is our loot table in the right place? It certainly looks like it is. Okay, it's in our namespace. Okay, and we've got book set level dot JSON. We shrink that down. Oh, well, we've, re we've named the folder loot table dot JSON. Oh, well, you can do the silly thing sometimes. So. We'll rename that loot table. There we go. And it's even got its little emerald. That's because I have, uh, I believe it's data pack icons, the extension running. That's better. Okay, now it's in loot table. You were laughing when you saw me type that. All right, let's go back to Minecraft and we'll do the reload. And we'll do loot give at me loot. Oh, there it is. ID book set level. So we should get an enchanted book which is level three, wind burst, yes. And we should be able to use it on an anvil because it's a stored enchantment. Yes, you are very noisy, anvil. Okay, that seemed to work. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's change it. Let's make it so it gives us a random level. So let's make a new file. In fact, actually, we'll copy this one. We'll do a, a bit of copy and paste and I'll change its name. So it's not going to be a set level this time. We'll have a random level. Okay, and we've got a weight in there, so that's all right. I'm going to copy everything in this entry. So I want here to here. That is one entry in this pool. So let's copy that. And I'm going to do comma, paste. I'm going to do comma, paste. Oh, I did. Okay, so we now have exact same thing three times so now it's going to roll once and you've got a one in three chance of getting 
a wind burst three, a one in three chance of getting a wind burst three, or a one in three chance of getting a wind burst three. Okay, well, that's pretty useless. So let's change this to wind burst one. And let's change this to wind burst two. Now we've got a one in three chance of getting a level one, one in three chance of getting a level two, one in three chance of getting a level three. Okay, let's change the weighting. And the way I like to think about the weighting is if I count them all up and put them into a bag, so I've got a weight of one, a weight of one, and a weight of one. So I'm going to put one of each of these items into the bag, put my hand in, and see what I get. Let's make it so wind burst three is less likely. So let's have three weight for wind burst one. So in my bag, I'm going to put three books with wind burst one on. And I'm going to make wind burst two have a weight of two. So in my bag, I've now got three level ones, I've got two level twos, and I've got one level three. So when I put my hand in, I've got a one in six chance of getting a level three, a two in six chance of getting a level two, and a three in six chance of getting a level one. Okay, let's save that. Let's go back. Let's do a reload. And let's, well, it's not set level this time. Let's try the random level. Okay, what did I get? I got a level three. Oh, well, I was lucky then, wasn't I? Let's try it again. What did I get this time? Level one, that's the most common one. Three in six chance. Level two, <laughs> one of each. What am I gonna get this time? Level two, okay, so that seems to be working. Let's do another test. Let's set level three. So in my bag, I've got three level ones, two level twos, and 100 level threes. So it's very likely I've got a 1 in 105 chance, because that's all the weights added together, of getting a level 3. So <laughs> pretty likely I'm going to get a level 3 each time now. Random level. Yeah. I'd have to be pretty unlucky to get one of the others. Level 3. Level 3. Yeah. Okay, so that seems to work. We're happy now that we can select or we can drop a random book and we can wait it, and the enchantment works. Now, I can put this into Minecraft namespace. Let's make a new folder, and we'll call it loot table. I'm going to be overriding the breeze. So I need to know where the breeze loot table is. So let's go over to the loot table wiki. I'll put a link in the description. So let's go down. Here we can see we've got data namespace. So the namespace will be Minecraft. Then loot table, well, that's good. And here we've got all the others. So entities, here we go. The loot dropped by mobs when killed. Right, so let's go to VS Code and inside loot table we'll make a new folder and we'll call it entities. Now I went and used um, a zip program to unzip the .jar file. And then I went into um, the data folder, data, Minecraft, loot table. Then I went into entities and I found the Breeze original loot table. So let's copy that in so we can use it as a reference. I'll put it in my namespace. New folder, we'll call it Breeze original.json. And I've got a copy of it. So this is what I took from Minecraft jar file. Okay, so I looked at this and I thought, well, what does any of this do? I don't know. I think a lot of it we can guess. For instance, we have a condition here, kills by a player. Right, okay, so this is only going to work if a player kills it. Uh, we've got something here called bonus rolls. I wasn't sure what that was, so we'll check that in a minute. And we've got something here called random sequence, and I wasn't sure what that was, so we'll check that in a minute. But in our entry, so here's our entry. We can see we're going to drop an item. The item is going to be a breeze rod. And it looks like we're going to drop one or two. Depends if we're lucky. Ah, but if we have looting, then it looks like we're going to drop one or two extra. Okay. So let's check out what this bonus rolls here. Bonus rolls. And this random sequence is. Now I found that on the wiki. So I just went over and had a look. And if we go down here to format, we can see we've got random sequence, a resource location specifying the name of the random sequence used to generate loot from this loot table. 
Right. So I'm guessing this is some sort of seed or something deciding, you know, what it's going to drop. And I thought, well, I'm not really worried about that. So I'm going to leave that in. And then we go down to bonus rolls down here. Defaults to zero. OK, so that's the default. So if we didn't put it in, it would be zero anyway. So effectively, I'm going to ignore this. Specify the number of bonus rolls on the pool per level of luck. Now, I could re kept reading, but then I saw this bit. This does not work in some contexts due to bugs. And I thought, well, it's default anyway. So I'm going to ignore that too. <laughs> so we're going to leave that in. And we're going to leave the random sequence in. Now, if I try and run this in the game, I am not going to get anything. Let's go back to the game and do a reload. And we'll do our loot give loot thing. And we'll say Breeze original. And it dropped zero items. Why didn't it give me the breeze rods? Because condition killed by player. And I did not kill a breeze. I just ran the loot table. So let's just check that is what's happening. And we'll make a new file and we'll call it breeze modified.json. .json. So let's get our original breeze and we'll copy you. What we should have done is just copy and pasted the file and renamed it but we didn't so let's paste that in there and i'm going to remove that condition let's take that condition out okay and now let's go back and just check that is what that is doing let's do um now let's run breeze modified and this time we should get a breeze rod because we're not checking to see if a player killed it hey we got one blaze rod that time we got one that time, one that time. Well, we're being unlucky. Oh, we got two that time. There we go. Okay, so that seems to be working. Cool. Right. Now, let's override the breezes loot table. So in Minecraft namespace loot table entities, we will create a new file. And we'll call it breeze because that's the name of the entity. And we'll then we'll spell everything wrong. Breeze.json. And I am going to get my book with a set level. And I'm going to copy that. And I'm just going to pop it into the Breezes loot table in the Minecraft namespace. So we override the default one. Let's save that. Let's go back. Let's reload. Let's get ourselves a Breeze. You're not too loud, are you? No, you're not. no, no, come back. I want to kill you. One, two. Aha! He dropped a book. He didn't drop any Breeze... Uh, Breeze rods, though. We got our book three. Okay, so we're going to say that is working. But we've what we've done is we've completely overridden his table. He is no longer dropping what he used to. So I, in here, I have pool, and inside the pool, I've got one entry. There is my one entry inside the pool. So what we're going to want to do is add this to the breeze. So let's get the breeze's original. Well, let's copy that back. Copy into the Minecraft loot table entities breeze. So now we are overriding the breeze with our own loot table, which does exactly the same as the vanilla loot table. But up here we can see pools. And there's the first pool opening. So I'm going to add another pool in here and i'm going to add my random level one so let's get the pool from this so inside pools i will go from that blue one there and i'm going to follow the line down all the way down to there and i'm going to copy all of that okay control c copy all of that i'm going to go back to the overriding table which is in the minecraft namespace i'm going to go to pools I'm going to press enter. I'm going to paste mine in. And because there is another pool after it, we'll need to put our comma. Now that should be working. But what we have here, if a player kills it, it will drop its it will do its normal drop table. It'll drop a it'll drop a breeze rod and it'll check to see if you've got looting and drop some more if you're lucky. But also, if anything kills it, it's going to drop one of the enchanted books 
Now, I don't want anything. So I don't want that to happen, really. I don't want anything killing it. So I'm going to go down to the original bit here where we have conditions killed by player. And I'm going to take that condition. Control copy. I'm going to paste it into my pool as well. So let's go where my pool opens here. I will open that and I'll just paste that in there. OK, let's check we've got it in the right place. Uh, bonus rolls, conditions. So it's not inside entries. So there's conditions and entries comes afterwards. So we've got there's our conditions. It's not inside entries. So that should be all right. Let's press S. We've now overridden the blazes, the breezes drop table, loot table, by adding some extra stuff, some random enchanted books. Let's stop waffling and actually try. So now when I kill this guy, we should be getting some breeze rods. So we've got five breeze rods at the moment, and we should be getting one of the books. Okay, looks like we've got two breeze rods, and we got book three. Well, let's just do a check to see, is our book three still a weight 100? It is. Okay, let's put that back down to one and save that and we'll go back and do a reload otherwise we're going to keep getting that book three okay there's another one come here no stop running away come back for the experiment come back okay we only got well, we only got two rods again lucky and uh, we got wind burst one uh one more why not and that time we got a few rods and uh, we got Wimbus 1 again. Wimbus 1 being the most likely. Cool. So we have taken the Breeze's original table and we've added some extra stuff to it. Cool. That'll do for now. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.